Welcome to the D&D world. Unfortunately, I can't get the music to play any better. I don't know why this does that sometimes. If anybody can tell me how to adjust the Streamlabs to uh, play the sound a little better on emulators, let me know. So I just turned the music down a little bit so it's not so hard on your ears. And if you're wondering what's going on, this is actually a fan translated version of uh, Fantasy Star. Uh, citizens of Kamenit, this boy's corpse is a reminder for all of you. Defiance of Lord Lashik will not be tolerated. Now, I played the American, the American version that was released many, 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 many years ago, and um, and uh, like I said, the the translation on that was. Uh, how shall we say, kind of crap. So uh, some fans put this together. I found this particular uh, ver uh, version on PSCave.com, which is a uh, Fantasy Star fan site, and uh, they got a lot, of, a lot of cool stuff on there too. And I'm probably going to be playing a couple of other translations from them as well, so look, be on the lookout for that. And yes, I'm actually breaking my own rule. I'm playing a JRPG on this channel, which I said I would never do. But I do enjoy this particular series in comparison to, say, like Final Fantasy or Dragon Quest or Warrior, depending on how you're playing it. So, uh, with that in mind, I'm going to be playing this one. I'm only going to be playing the four games, and I think there's one or two side stories I'll be playing as well. As I get to them. And just so you know, the first game, this one, was the only one I've ever beaten. So, bear that in mind. Okay, so let's go ahead. Oh, I already read that, but uh, well, I'm going to read it again. Citizens of Kamini, this boy's corpse is a reminder for all of you. <laughs> Excuse me. Defiance of Lord Lashik will not be tolerated. Nero! Nero! What happened? Alyssa, my sister, listen closely. I don't have long. The Sheik is a threat to all of Algol. We cannot remain he cannot remain in power. I don't know what's happened to him, but I do know this. Lord the Sheik must die for the sake of everyone, Alyssa. You have to kill him. Oh, so we're going straight into the murder, okay. My mistake was trying to take him on alone. These are dangerous people. You're going to need help. I've heard the tales of a warrior, a man named Tylon, who shares my cause. I want to, to enlist his help, but he's gone missing. You have to find him, Melissa. Find Tylon and kill the Sheik before it's too late. Alyssa, such a terrible burden. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me for asking this of you, and for leaving you all alone. Oh, hello, viewer. I didn't even realize you were there. I'm sorry. How are you doing? I know that you wouldn't ask this of me if there was any other way. Your death will not be meaningless, I swear it. Watch over and protect me, big brother. I'm off to kill the most powerful man in the world. Said every assassin on earth. Now we get to... Out of all the games in the series, this one I like the most, and it's because of this part right here. 3D Dungeons. Well, made to look like 3D Dungeons, but... Uh, oh, yeah. And it's not like just a little one step at a time. You actually move pretty fast from this. I'm trying to remember where the money is. Because, you know, when I think of, you know, instead of putting my money in a bank, I just hide my cash in a dungeon. found a treasure chest. Do you want to open it? That is a tough question. Do I really want to open it? Yes, I do. You found 50 mesetas inside. 
And mesetas are the uh, currency in this uh, series. Pretty much any fantasy, you know, any fantasy uh, star game, you'll find it's mesetas that you're collecting. Uh, I guess it's kind of the equivalent of, uh, in Final Fantasy, they call them gills, I think, in later games. Originally, they're calling it gold, but I think it was like called something else, like gills or something like that later. Now we go and talk to the people. As you notice, they're just standing in one spot, so... Some dungeons are patch, pitch black. You'll need light. Now, looking at this, I almost feel like I'm playing one of my uh, D and D games because you know you go into a dungeon that's 3D and a town that's a uh, top down, and uh, you yeah, know the overworld is top down. But when you go into dungeons and it's um, you know POV, and then uh, same thing when you go into stores, it's uh, POV. You're doing what? Alyssa, taking on the sheet is crazy, but I know how stubborn you are. So I'll do what I can to help. If you get hurt, come back here and your old pal Su Sulo. Suelo or Sulo? <sighs> Names. Will you fix will fix you up? Please get some rest. Don't overdo it, okay? You'll always be welcome here. And that's one of the nice things here in this town is the fact that uh, there you don't have to pay for a heal up, which by the way I believe in the first game you pay per point of healing. Let's see. Welcome to Jill Shop. May I help you? Let's look at what they got here. Take care and go back see you. Okay, so it's reverse. All right. Okay, we got a searchlight, a scape cloth, and a tran carpet. Okay. This is a pharmacy. Can I help you with something? And here we got a uh, pyloromate and roginin. Okay. Those are basically your uh, two two main uh, healing things. Which I think in the uh, Americanized version, it's a candy and a cheeseburger. <laughs> yeah, when I think of healing myself, a Big Mac's going to do the trick. It's actually morning here where I'm at right now. It's like it's still like 11:15. So, uh, welcome to the armor shop. Can I help you? Yes. And right now we're going to get a leather shield. Do anything else? No. So I got a short sword, a leather, leather clothes, and leather shield. Kind of basic D&D stuff right there. And then we're going to get a couple of these. Yes. Okay. Okay, now we are flat broke. Uh, let's go ahead and see what's in here. Oh, I already found that one now. Uh, okay. Uh, let's start talking to some people then. I can't believe the spaceport requires a road pass now. How am I supposed to get home? Oh yeah, that, that reminds me. The reason it's called Fantasy Star is this is actually a space fantasy. Kind of like Star Wars in a way. In fact, there are references to Star Wars, uh, Dungeons and & Dragons, and a couple of other things. Uh, there's also more uh, uh, Japanese-centric uh, things that happen in the game. I'll point them out as we get, as we get to them. Some dungeons are pitch black. You'll need a light, yeah. And... Uh, 
What he's going by that is there's a few dungeons in the area where literally you can't go anywhere because it will be just a black screen. And you need something like, say, uh, a light or a lamp. I think in the original it was a torch, but... Um, no, it was a flashlight. It was a flashlight that died right as soon as you left the dungeon, so... My name is Nekase. I'm sorry to hear about your brother. Last we heard, Talon was staying in a town called Xi'an. Nero asked me to hold on to this Lyconian pot. You should have wanted... He, he would have wanted you to have this. Here, take time. Take it. Sorry I can't risk helping you anymore. Good luck. And here we got stormtroopers. Sorry, we're on high security alert. Access denied. I've heard that illegal goods are traded in port towns. Again, I apologize for the music breaking up like it is. I don't know what the issue is. Do you know about the planets of Algol? Oh, okay. Actually, no, I didn't. Why did I hit yes? <laughs> okay, no. There are three planets, Palma, Motavia, and Azores. The three planets have a distinct geology. Palma is a planet of greenery, which we were on. Motavia is a planet of sand. Azores is a planet of ice. To tell you the truth, I fear for the future of our planets. So we got green, blue, and brown. Okay. Or yellow, depending on how you think about it. Uh, so, how long are they going to hold us under martial law like this? You'll need a dungeon key if you want to open locked doors. This is a church. Do you need to revive a departed soul? No. May your future hold blessings from God. To level up, Elisa needs 20 points. Okay, now, when, and when I start having uh, teleportation abilities, that's where I can pick a town, is by going into the church to... Uh, to remember, oh, no, I forgot to check it. this one, I think. This is Alyssa's home. Nero's presence can still be felt here. Uh -huh. Alright, now... Citizens are advised to remain inside the residential area. Okay, and we've got a wall here. Gotta be careful going through that forest. Because that forest is the only area within that wall that uh, I can get into a fight. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, sometimes the fights can be merciless early on. I mean, there are easy fights. Yeah, it's a JRPG. You're going to have easy fights. But at the same time, at random, they'll throw in like a third or fourth level monster on you when you're only first level. So this sends our advice to... Okay. He says the same thing the other guys at the gate said. All right. Did you know there's an abandoned catacomb leading west to the Gothic woods? Supposedly it's somewhere nearby, but I can't find it. I actually know exactly where it is, but uh, we'll get to that later. If you go east, you'll come to a port town called Xi'an. I've heard that a monster called Medusa has awa was awakened in the cave south of here. 
Rumor has it she has turned all who look at her into stone. A signed road, a signed road pass is required to access the back spaceport. I don't know why I'm having a hard time reading. I'm usually a very good reader. It's easy to get lost in the forest. Be careful. You can get to Paseo on planet Matavia from the spaceport. But due to heightened security, you'll need a road pass. Yeah, instead of inns, they have hospitals. Uh, welcome to Perlet Residential District. This is a hospital. Do you require medical care? No. Be safe out there. Uh, another thing I should point out is the music itself. Uh, the music in the American version made for uh, the Sega Master System back in the day um, the Japanese version was made for a stereo system, so you have this nice melodic music. The, ja the American version had high-pitched beeps, boops, and whatnot else as music, and a lot of the times it made your ears bleed. Okay, so we want to be able to get on this at, at uh, soon. Well, not soon, but at a later point. So right now, we're going to go pick a couple of fights. Okay, this is a fight that I'm not going to be able to win, so... And they block my route. Yeah, maybe I should save at first. That might be a good idea. easier fights than just those scorpion things. Here we go. Monster Flight. Monster Flight. Okay, and there's also a lot of name changes for monsters, because uh, as well as the character names. Because uh, I remember these guys being called um, monster, you know, just flies, so... See, even that le first level fight, that was pretty uh, rough on me. You've beaten the monster fly, you gained four experience points. The monster fly had a treasure chest. Do you want to open it? Now, this is where the risk comes in, because randomly it'll throw a spear or an explosion at me on occasion, so we got to be careful about that. Fortunately, nothing happened there. We got six gold out of it, or mesetas out of it. We're gonna head back into town real Oh shit, okay. Hopefully we can run away. Thank God. Because I don't want to use my, um... Pillar, 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 mate yet. So, uh, walked right past it. Please get some rest. Don't overdo it, okay? You'll always be welcome. Okay, so... Okay, uh, let's see if we can handle this a little better. You 
you've beaten the monster fly, you gained it. Four experience points. The monster fly had a treasure chest. Do you want to open it? Yes. You found six mesetas inside. Yeah, instead of HP, it's called Stamina for some reason. I ain't gonna survive, survive that. I forgot to check how much the uh, swords were. Because I got them in a separate store over here and I forgot to check it. I remember in the other version, it was really expensive, so I don't know how much it is here. Sword. Okay, 75. So that's not too bad. Okay. Come back and see us soon. Once we start leveling up a little bit, it'll become easier to fight and stuff, so... Not quite level 2 yet, and I want to avoid that forest. Let's go ahead and save before going out. Again, I apologize for the, uh, the, uh, cracks in the music. I don't know why the, uh, it plays normally when I'm not recording or doing a stream, so I don't know why it's doing it while I do a recording or a stream. If anybody has any ideas, I'm using Streamlabs Desktop. 1.16.7 from, uh, yeah, I forgot what the name of the company was. I think it is Streamlabs. But, uh, I just realized I got another follower on here that was within the last 24 hours. Hello, viewer! Yeah, I know, I'm up early today. I usually am playing in the evening, but, uh, wanted to go for a, uh, morning. Since it's uh, Sunday morning and I really have nothing to do today. You beat the monster fly, you gained four experience points. The monster fly had a treasure chest. Do you want to open it? Yes. You found six mesetas inside. Now, to anybody that knows me, I, nine times out of ten, don't know how things are pronounced. Because... I'm not a very uh, socialized person growing up. I did a lot of reading, so nine times out of ten, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, it's because I learned the word from reading it and not hearing it from someone else. I think on one of my live streams on YouTube, I went on a long, extensive uh, rant about it one time. Town in time. Oh, good. Okay, made it. Also, find out how much I got left on points before I reach level two. Or did I reach level two and just didn't realize it? Status. Nope, still level one. I need about four more points. So, one more fight with flies, monster flies, ought to do it. And I'll get to level two. And that ain't gonna do it. I'll get my ass kicked. Oh, come on, really? Oh. Had to get a couple shots in, didn't you? Yeah, I'll try it. No, I ain't gonna be able to do it. I'm gonna need the next, uh, the iron sword before I can actually fight those guys properly. Oh, come on!
here we go. <sighs> Finally I level up. I was half expecting that to explode and kill me. Departed soul. I almost said the wrong word. Okay, uh, no. May your future hold blessings from God. To level up. Oh, huh, only 30, so 10 more from what I originally had. How much gold or meseta do I have? Only 30? Okay, so I need about uh, 45. Yeah, 45 more. Feels like I've been in a lot more fights than that, but, uh, yeah. So. As you can see, I can hit the flies a little harder now. But they're still walloping me real good, so, uh, yeah. Now six. So uh, 36 now? levels, uh, you're really going to do this a lot, bouncing back and forth, uh, because that's how JRPGs were back in the day, you did a lot of back and forth for quite a while, it, it, it took some time, you had to earn your, your shit. before he was able to give me a nice good wallop before the fight was over. I already lost track of how much I had, so let me look again. Okay, so 24 more and we should be able to get that sword. And then we can start really collecting some money out here. Because trust me, we're going to need it after a while. Up. 
Well, I will say, at least this isn't as bad as, say, the first uh, Dragon Warrior was. I mean, good God. You would have to... You would spend, I would say, the equivalent of hours leveling up and collecting money before you really did anything of importance. This one, I'd say... Oh, before, before I call it a day on this, I'll probably be able to do one or two things before we call it a day. In which case, we are going to go through uh, one dungeon before we actually call it a night, or a, an e or day on this game so for today, so... Be looking forward to that. It's just a matter of getting to it. I shouldn't complain when I start having uh, the other members of the party join in. It uh, will be getting um, more of those flies showing up. I think it gets up to 10 of monsters sometimes. If I remember correctly. It's been a while since I played this, so. At least four years, so. And I had heard about this uh, version of the game being available on the internet, so I checked it out, and there it was. So, and I was able to play it, so I thought I'd play it for you guys, because this is actually one of my favorite favorite games right here, this one. This particular Fantasy Star is one of my favorites, so... Like I said, that, and I died because I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy talking. Okay, continue. That's what happens when you don't pay attention. Alright, let's... Oh, hi. Let's see how much... I'm going back to 42, so... Fortunately, I remember to save early on. I just got to remember to come back and save periodically and rest up instead of, you know, jabbering like I've been and getting my ass kicked. Okay, so that should put me at 45. Now at level 3, I should be able to start casting healing spells, so that should make things a little easier on me. Nope. Yes. Someone wants out. Give me just a second. Okay, I'm back. I also got me some coffee while I was at it. Alright. I just want to get my sword so I can move my... Oh, and also a light source of some sort. screwed up so I better head back in and my health excuse me my health all sorted out all right let's see how close I am to leveling up uh, looks like I need I'm still a ways off. <laughs> okay. Now, 
Oh, these guys. I should have avoided him at all costs. They're called Devil Bats in this one, but you're gonna love what they were called in the original version. Or the American version. These were owl bears. <laughs> yeah. When I think of an owl bear, I think of an eyeball with wings growing out of it. I'm gonna run. Yeah. Oh boy. I might die here if I can't get away. There we go. Yeah, so I gotta be careful around uh, trees. Still don't think I'm good enough to fight him yet. Yeah, it's, it's a slow process at first. Once we get going, though, the, the drag really doesn't happen that much. In fact, a lot of the times, uh, most of the points you'll be getting is when you're searching through the dungeons. So, that's where a lot of your points are going, because you're going to be going in and out of dungeons frequently. Because... Uh, they're, like I said, they're POV. You don't have a mapping system. Um, I'll be using my uh, phone here with the walkthroughs for the maps, but uh, I'll only be using them as I need them, not, you know, just because a lot of the maps, earlier maps, I have memorized. I mean memorize is because they're small enough to memorize. The much later ones, like when we get to uh, the other planets and stuff, that's when things start getting a little uh, hinky for me. Fifteen more to go. I'll get the uh, sword and then we'll get the uh, earn enough I might have enough to get a lamp and then we'll go into our first dungeon. Six points, okay. So after this, we should be able to start casting our first uh, spells. Mm, I'll risk it. Points out of it. Yes. Oh, 13. Okay. Ah, there we go. Okay, let's go get that sword. Fortune favors the bold. Welcome to the armor shop. Can I help you? Yes. I will take that nice iron sword you have there. Joy, can I get you anything else? Nope. Take care. Come see us again. Now we're going to equip said sword. Equip. Okay. 
And then we go over to here, I think it's this store here, and we'll sell the other sword. So, let's sell the short sword. Yes. Okay, now we go back in. Bye. Oh, I'm one Metzetta off. Now you see here, I'm going to point at it like an idiot because I think it, you, know, you know what I'm pointing at. At the top, I'm going to do this. Uh, searchlight is one time only. You know, you go in to the dungeon, you use it, you turn it on as soon as you go in, but as soon as you leave, you lose it. However, if I was to buy the light pendant, uh, I wouldn't have to worry about that anymore as long as I have it in my um, in my um, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> well, as long as I'm carrying it on my purse, and you know that's it's going to be there. So, but we can't really afford that just yet, and we're not going to spend time trying to collect that kind of money at this moment meantime now look at that that took over took more than 70% of his stuff there so. there we go and I leveled up while I was at it now 13 all right Okay, you will always be welcome here. Now, uh, let's take a look here. I do believe I have some spells now. I don't know any spells yet. I'm surprised. Usually it's level 3 on, on JRPGs when you start collecting spells. Maybe it's level 4 I'm thinking of. Alright, we're going to go over to the other town. One hits. That's the num that's the kind of stuff I like to see. Found six Mercedes inside. Yeah, see how far away the other town was. It was like a short jaunt over there. All right, so let's start. To, which one do I want? Okay, let's go talk to this person first since he's the first one I see. Welcome to Xi'an. We had a bustling trade economy here until the Sheik's embargo. Now most of us are desperate for work. I know how that feels. If you head north, you'll find a knoll called Baya Marley, but you won't be able to get to it. The only way to open a door sealed with magic is to cast a spell of your own. Yeah, that's going to be a while. <laughs> that's like in-game stuff right there. There are intelligent aliens on Matavia and Azores. Life on another planet, can you imagine it? Yeah, nothing going on over there. I used to go spelunking in Nuola Cave on the coast north of Bay of Marley. But with all these monsters suddenly appearing, I wouldn't even try to get there now. And the cave she just described has probably one of the goofiest treasures you want to collect. And when we get to that, I'll explain it as we get there. Okay, yeah, Talon was here. He said something about going south to slay Medusa. He had a strange talking animal with him. It had a bottle of medicine around its neck. I wonder what it was. Right. Welcome to Tool Shop. May I help you? Bye. 
Secret thing. <laughs> 200. <laughs> now, secret thing there, I'm going to have to come back to that. So, but, uh, take care. Come back and see us soon. But, uh, yeah, I got to come back for that secret thing. You'd have to be some kind of idiot to go into Epi Forest without a compass. Epi Forest is the main forest down at the bottom of the island, or a continent, whatever you want to call it. This is going to go sound crazy, but I found a talking animal wandering Medusa's dungeon. I sold it to a trader in Paseo. The little guy was worth a fortune. You sold an... Iala Cave lives on the peninsula south of town. And that's another place we gotta visit at some point. Alright, so let's go ahead. How much money do I have right now? Okay, I think I can afford a light now. Let's go ahead and get it here. Anything else? No. Take care. Come back and see us soon. Okay, we're going to go check out that cave now. To the south of Paseo. Paseo? Paseo? However it's pronounced. Oh. First, we want to do this. And the other game, this wasn't called a pharmacy, it was called a fast food place. <laughs> yeah, seeing like uh, flasks and stuff like that, I would think this was a... Uh, now, I, th I would think this was McDonald's, yes. That would be the first thing that came to my mind, is I would think this was uh, McDonald's. <laughs> seeing uh, medical flasks and uh, beakers. safe than sorry. This is a pharmacy. Yes, we know it's a pharmacy. Okay. Nope. Okay. Now let's rest up. And I think we're ready to go into that cave now. cave. Right, let's head back. Oh, it's getting really bad on the music there. for a while, I think. Uh, 
Okay, now where we have entered our first dungeon. It's pitch black, you can't move forward. But, I got a searchlight. Now I think they got this idea from Dragon Warrior where you, uh, in the original game you were required to use a torch to get around. Later games they kind of uh, dismissed that, but uh, you found a treasure chest. Do you want to open it? Yes. Found 10 gold in, or Maseta inside. I keep calling it gold, but that's basically what it is, but it's mis they call it Maseta in the game. Green slime. Fortunately, you can't hurt, hit me that hard. Hello, viewer. Okay, got eight experience. Let's hope this doesn't blow up on us. Found sixteen gold. Found a treasure chest. Do you want to open it? Yes. Found 20. Okay. That gets us a little closer to the 200 we need. Person's been turned to stone. Could this be Tylen? Yeah, we can't really do anything for him just now. I think we found the only two treasure chests in here, too, so. I also like the fact that they didn't put any cutesy faces on the uh, monsters in this. A la Dra Dragon Warrior or, uh, say, uh, I don't think Final Fantasy did that, but, uh, well, actually, they did in later games, but, uh, yeah, the initial ones, they just kind of, uh, Heal up. Yeah, that's a little better. <laughs> oh, come on. Better heal up before I get too far gone. Finally, shit. Hey, I leveled up! And I finally got my spells, but I can't use them until I rest up. So, do you want to open it? Yes. 16. I found the main thing I was looking for in here, so I need to get out of here. Uh, before we go too far, let's go ahead and heal up some more. Uh, well, 
Let's see how much I got right now. 130. Okay, we're not too far off from getting 200, so we'll be able to get the secret thing. And I think I need another 100 just to get on the uh, ship. Yeah, I'll, I think I'll stick around until we get at least our first, um, first, uh, fellow, uh, player character. Take on the. Uh, I think we could take on Devil Bats now, so let's see. Yeah, we could take on Devil Bats, no problem, no. Devil Bat, you gain five experience points. Devil Bat, our treasure chest, do you want to open it? Let's see how far along we are now. 160, okay, we're not too far off. Oh, I think I want to go a little bit higher. Oh, now, now we got the monster flies missing us. Which means we're a little bit stronger than monster flies now. You've beaten the devil bat, you gained five experience, but. Let's open the treasure and hope it don't explode in our face. Okay, you found 12 Mesetas inside. close here. Right, let's go ahead and use the other one. Welcome to the tool shop. May I help you? I'm going to buy secret thing. I don't know what you're talking about. I run a legitimate business here. I call bullshit. I'm coming back. I'm going to ask for it again. Secret thing. I already told you once. I don't deal with illegal goods. Get out of my store. You know what? Third time's a charm. Welcome to the tool shop. May I help you? Secret thing. You're not going to give up, are you? Here, just take it. One road pass, signed and certified. If anyone asks you about two dead couriers, deny everything. Two dead couriers? <laughs> wow. Yeah, and the other version, he just says, just don't tell anybody where you got it. 
This is what flat out says. If anybody asks about two dead couriers, you didn't deny it. That's a new one to me. Wow. Okay. Get rest up. Don't overdo it, okay? You will always be welcome here. Oh, before uh, we continue on, I want to save here. Okay, 34 HP and 4 MP. Right. Access grid, go on through. And I didn't even have to walk over to it, it just kind of took me there. Alright, so let's see what... Oh. oh, so I automatically touch him, it puts me through. Okay. Let's do that again one more time! Ask these luggage guys what's going on. Before space travel was commercialized, spaceships were built at a research laboratory in Gothic. I kind of know where Gothic is. So. These ships are headed towards Paseo, the capital of Motavia. The governor general lives there. The governor general lives there. I think in the other version it was called a mayor. Might have been governor. I don't think it was governor general. Welcome to Palma's Spaceport. You can travel to Paseo on Matavia from here. Right. So this is a pharmacy. Can I help you with, with something? Mm, no, not at the moment. Right. Are you here to apply for a passport? Yes. I'm required by law to ask you a series of questions. Have you ever been convicted of a crime? Do you suffer from an illness that may be irritated by travel? No. There is a handling fee of 100%. Can you pay it? Yes? You look like you don't have enough money. Please come back later. No. Alright, how much do I need? Oh god, okay. Well, a few big fights and I should be able to get fine. Okay, so let's... Uh, Go ahead and take care of that. If I fight these guys in twos, I shouldn't. It shouldn't take me too long. So we're gonna stick to the forest here. And we want to stay away from the beach because the beach has monsters that can take my ass. Come on! Oh, come on! you guys there we go oh really <sighs> that wasn't helpful okay. oh here we go is this gonna be a good yeah there we go If we get in a few more fights with scorpions, at least two of them, then we can probably... Uh, well, this will probably help. So 
So two devil bats and two scorpions will probably kick it up uh, quite a bit for us. You've beaten the Devil Bat. You've gained 10 experience points. The Devil Bat have a treasure. Do you want to open it? Ah, there we go. I was waiting for one of those. Okay. I think that I think that used up all my magic, didn't it? Oh, I get to do it one more time, so. We'll stick around out here. Oh, wait. I forgot to check how much money I have. 72. Yeah, we're not far off. That wasn't much for money. Six. Okay. Alright. Oh, come on, really? You're giving me the small fl The small fries? I swear, it's almost like this game knows what I'm trying to do. <laughs> so it's like it's nickel and diming me right now. Dungeons and Dragons will return after these messages. Quick little uh, thank you to BP Furtado for uh, making the suggestion for this game. It really helped me with the decision of actually putting it on my channel. And, um, yeah, I finally broke my rule of uh, no JRPGs on uh, this channel. But I make an exception for Fantasy Star because it's one of the first RPGs I truly enjoyed playing. So, uh, with that, let's continue with the show. And now, back to Dungeons & Dragons. Okay. I think I'm going to continue on for a little while. I thought I was going to be stopping for make a big lunch or something. Dad only wanted like a burrito, so. I made me a burrito too. Okay. So let's go ahead and. We can just keep going for a little while longer, I guess. I'll just put like a commercial break or something there when I make this for YouTube. Button. Mm. Right. 96. Okay, one more fight ought to do it, and then we can pay for the pass. Beaten fly. Go ahead and head over to uh, Motavia. Please get some rest. Don't overdo it, okay? You will always be welcome here. I don't know how many times I'm going to read that. <laughs> I'm already thinking it's probably going to be in the thousands by the time we uh, finish this game. All right. Access granted. Go on through. Go through the quiz again. Are you here to apply for a passport? Yes. I'm required by law to ask you a series of questions. Have you ever been convicted of a crime? No. Do you suffer from an illness that may be irritated by travel? No. There is a handling fee of 100 mesetas. Can you pay? Yes. Okay then, I'll issue you a passport. Here you are. Next in line. I believe I was the only person in line. Alright, now we get out over here. Do you have a passport? Yes. Access granted. Go on through. Alright, 
This is a non-stop flight to Matavia. Getting on? Yes. Now, back in the 80s when this game came out, this probably blew people's minds. We're going, wait, we're going to another planet? Okay, we have reached Motavia. This is Paseo, the only spaceport on Motavia. Oh, this is Paseo. Why was I calling the other town Paseo? Uh, oh well. It's antlion breeding season. Be careful out there. Ooh, breeding season. That's no fun. I hear there's a cake shop in Naula Cave on Palma. That's what I was talking about earlier, about the weird treasure being to find in, in one of the caves. And that's the Naula Cave. And, uh, yeah, there's a cake shop in there. I wonder if it gets any business in a cave like that. Terrific question. Alright, so... Access granted. Go on through. Paseo, Matavia's capital city. You can't cross over ant lions on foot. The governor general loves sweets. And we just heard about a cake shop earlier, so... Yeah, hint, hint. To meet with Governor General, you need to present a gift. The Cave Mahal is located in the mountains north of Paseo. Now why would I want to know about that? There are intelligent monsters, but they speak a different language than ours. You'd have to be some kind of magician to understand them. I did check that one. Now, why didn't I think I didn't check that? Ever seen a talking cat before? Rare, real rare. One of the kind, if I'm not mistaken. Ten million mesetas and it's yours. How about it? Uh, no? That's too bad. Hold on. Now, is that a Laconian pot? How about a trade? The pot for the kitty. Yes. I hate to see the little guy go, but I can't pass up a trade like this. Take good care of him. I guess we're companions now, huh? I'm Alyssa. What's your name? Meow. The cat's name is Meow. Hello, Meow. I'm looking for a man named Tylan. Rumor has it it was he was traveling with a talking animal. I don't suppose that was you. Talon got turned to stone trying to slay Medusa. We can heal him with this medicine, but I can't open the lid. He should still be in Skion. Skion. Do you know how to get there? I think I can manage. Come on, let's go help him. Okay, so yeah, the first party member is a talking cat. Yeah, let's go ahead back and to ski on. Do you have a passport? No. Yes, I do, actually. Access granted. Go on through. Yeah, 
This shuttle is heading for Palma. Danny Moon? Yes. What's in the bottles? Al Suline. Or Al Saline. Who knows? Anyway, so we're gonna head out and get a little bit of money to uh, buy another uh, spotlight. We could find out how to do it. I didn't read that line. Welcome to the tool shop. May I help you? Bye. Searchlight. Oh, crap. I thought it was tin. Maybe I'm thinking of the polar on my... See what I mean earlier when I said earlier that uh, when you start getting uh, other PCs into your group, the more the bigger the number of monsters show up on this particular area. Okay, one down. Beating the devil bat, you've gained 15 experience points. And I shouldn't talk with my mouth full.
let's get three of those. Okay, that should cover everything. Let's head back to that dungeon and get to it. Further, might want to save. I realize I haven't done that in a while. Oh, good. Took care of him real quick. Round thirteen. Pitch black, you can't move forward. So shall to use excuse me. Now we know exactly how to get there, so pretty much a straight shot. Points and the treasure. Do you want to open it? Yes. Now I'm 24 inside. So I use. Lisa took out the Lesser Lane and Lisa, but I didn't get to finish reading that. Unless I hit the button on the next Ah, meow, we found help. Thank you. Reducers are stronger than I thought. I don't think I stand a chance. I don't stand a chance of defeating Lashik. Who's your new friend? My name is Alyssa. My brother Nero was killed trying to overthrow Lashik. I'm going to assassinate him. Nero gave me your name just before he died. You said that you'd help. I see. Well, I can't let a girl like you go alone, now can I? I appreciate your concern, but I can hold my own, thank you. Why did you go after Medusa? Medusa has a legendary axe I was hoping to see Lashik's blood on it. I had a compass at I hid a compass at a dead end inside this cave. We're going to need it, let's go. Why would you go and hide it somewhere else? Well, at least he kept it within the dungeon at... Ooh! Okay. Two, three. And they're all going after Meow. leveled up again, learned a new spell, leveled up. The wing eye had a treasure chest, do you want to open it? We found 36, nice. Okay, uh, before we continue on, item use yeah. Also on that, I should probably heal her up too. At least I'll get out of the dungeon with it. You found a treasure chest. Do you want to open it? Yes. You found a compass. Attack, 
You gained eight experience points. The wing I had a treasure chest. Do you want to open it? Yes. Found twenty-four. Hey, that's a lot of monster flies. Okay. At least I'm able to get about at least three of them out of the road before. Uh, two hey, I got them all. Okay. Right. You found 18. Okay. Ha Damn! I barely took a <laughs> took a step, and I got another six. Not that I don't mind, but it's like I'm trying to... Hey, it's not just me now. I got two other people with me. I got a big guy over here and I got a cat. Do you mind if we stay the night? <laughs> Don't overdo it, okay? okay. Alright, and I think with here, I'm probably going to call it a night. Or a day, I should say. Because it's only uh, 1245 right now. At where I live, so... Uh, yeah, that's less... And uh, thank you guys for watching. If you're on CRPG Dungeons and Dragons Night, this was on YouTube, or CRPG D and D Night on Twitch, and it was live. So uh, you guys take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Bye bye.